What's up guys? Back for another video here. I should probably grab the keys for the truck, but as promised in the last video, I said I'd do a little video on the truck, just because why not? Not much going on during the week. My car is freaking so dirty and I wash it. I want to wash it so bad. I got two pressure washers here. All the right things to clean, but the other day I dropped the and you can see where the plastic broke. It doesn't pull this back anymore. And this connection for my whatchamacallit here is very uncommon. So I went around to all the stores in town, this, that, and the third, trying to find a connection that would make that to the pressure washer just to make it easy because I would have to like disconnect the hose, connect it to this, use that, disconnect the hose, hook it back up to the pressure washer. And can't find nothing nowhere, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. So until then, the car's gonna stay done. I'm traveling to do this weekend for autocross anyway. I was hoping to try and get them done this weekend, but we'll see about that too, I guess. So I took the camper top off the truck and that thing was heavy. How about it? We had to carry that thing all the way around the house, through the back gate. Super annoying. Yeah, that thing had to have weighed, what, 200 pounds? Close to it, one, at least a... 5,200. Yeah, and it was just so big, because this is a long bed. So, I mean, it was, it was just massive. And my arms kind of still hurt from carrying it. But, uh, here we are. Dual cab, long bed, big old 7.4 liter 454 in it. Um, AC works, new speakers, new stereo, the doors kind of, you really got to slam the doors to make them work, but you can kind of see everything's old. It's really cool. And I got a, uh, what do they call it here? A nice crotch cooler here under the steering wheel. I thought this was pretty neat. I found this the other day. I was like, oh, no way. It doesn't put a bunch of air out, but it's still like, I mean, if you're wearing shorts and it's hot enough, it's, it's good enough. But, uh, I got a bunch of spare parts that came with this. So I'm about to, we're going to try and knock out these rear struts because the rear struts in this thing are, are junk. So I got brand new ones in the attic. I want to throw the, uh, they got a good old like 35 degree bend in them. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're nasty. I'll show you in a minute. Then I got like a fuel filter. I got trans lines. I got a spare math. Um, got beef jerky. I got beef jerky. <laughs> I got a bunch of random stuff, but at least when I get the struts on, maybe I'll do the, the fuel filter. Um, he said it's about doing oil change, but I don't, I don't have oil right now for it or a filter this little little maintenance things i mean the interior is all the pieces are here pretty much I and mean, everything's from 1998 so i mean there's plenty of dirt scrubbed into the floor and the and the seats i got a buddy of mine drew you said he'd uh he'd do it for me he has like a carpet cleaning business so he knows what he's doing to get all these stains out but so far so great i'm really loving the truck i mean the gas mileage sucks that's about the only thing that sucks. I was going to maybe put new headlights in it, but um, whatever HIDs he had put in this thing are bright as hell. I'm happy with that. Cruise control was working when I got it, and it ain't now, so I don't know if I got to mess with the stock or or what, but things dope. Let's go to the attic. I'll show you guys some, some parts. It's going to be so hot up here. My screen was reading 109 when I started the car leaving work. And it dropped down to 101 on the way home on the highway. It is, oh my god, yeah, it's hot. And right here is pretty much like all the stuff. We got the you know, fuel filter. Boom. You can see it's like all my spare parts for the golf. We got all types. Of Anybody need a subframe? Let me get that shit out of here. Anyway, here's one strut. Strut number two. What else we got in here? I haven't even gone through like half this. This is a window switch. Oh, for the other side. Okay, maybe I'll do this today too, because you can't put the windows down on the passenger side. So uh, nice. Um, I don't know what's in this. Uh, I think this is like a. What should I call it? Oh, this is a map thing, I think? I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. Maybe somebody can tell me. It's like where the... This is like for the distributor? Yeah. It's got, yeah. Cap. Yeah, okay. There's just like, he gave me like all types. And there was a bunch of stuff, like stuff behind the seat that he didn't 
I don't think he knew that was in here. I think this goes probably to that too. Huh. Neat. What else? Um, more stuff. Oh, this is the math thing I was talking about. Trans lines, that belly pan. I think all the screws are sitting in the in the glove box. Toss that down to Eric here, and you got crown peach? Where the fuck should you get that? That's about your birthday present. Oh, what? Damn, dog! Would you look at that? Hell yeah! You guys ever try this screwball? It is so good. Peanut butter whiskey. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Hell yeah! It's my birthday the other day, so. Some of this. Yeah, that stuff's good, and it's rare. It's real rare to find that. Huh. Haven't really had it yet. Hell yeah. Like it's it. so fucking hot. Mm. Alright. Well, now to uh, cars and shit. I got under here with some WD 40. You can see this shirt right here looks like. Well, get it from the right angle. You can see it looks like shit. That one looks like shit too, but I mean there is a little bit of rust. Oh, and there is a fifth wheel as well. But uh I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't leak anything. I mean it's got some some wiring messes from over the years, but everything works. I don't have any issues with the lights or anything. Really it's just that cruise control stock and then the passenger side window thing, but it's actually really fun driving around. Like I wish it wouldn't take so much gas. I'd I'd drive it more, it's comfy. And being up that high, and I hate using AC in the golf because of the way, like how much, uh, is it parasitic loss or whatever the fuck the word is, where, anyway, just when the AC's running, the, the revs, like going between shifts, like it wants to, the revs go down a lot faster and starting, you know, from a stop, it just doesn't act right. So I don't really run the AC half the time, and uh, with this, I, you know, I run it full blast and it doesn't give a shit, so. That's another reason why I want to pull the AC out of that thing. Is like I never really freaking use it, so I might as well just get rid of it. <laughs> it's cool being up this high, and and like my dog, I'm Australian Shepherd. He sheds like no other dog, and I have leather, you know, in there, so I don't want him in there, especially with all the hair and all that. But in the truck, I don't care. It's still the dog in the back. He loves it. I like it. It's a good time. Let's show you guys the motor real quick. It's not like there's much to see. It's a this is a big old Chevy motor. Big bowl. Big block. It's all dusty. Yep. We can just sell it there. Hello. We, uh, on the fuel filter here. Can I even? We can't run it. Pretty easy. Two hard lines, two bolts to the bracket. Come right out. Switch out that uh, that switch for the uh, window, and because uh, like my side, the driver's side is has the button missing to lock the windows. So I think the button got lost when it was on lock because none of them will go down. Um, at all, like from their individual perspective spots. So I'm gonna have to find another panel or a yeah, thingy for that side. But uh, at least I got the new one and it was real easy to swap out. Not like these new new cars with super tight clearances on everything that you wanna pull apart. So, here we go. Leak a few all over the place. Oh, this bracket's attached to a bunch of other lines. Ugh. As I'm getting bit up by ants, I uh, finally got this fuel filter in. Pretty easy to do. It's a little, uh, a little dirty under here. A little dirty. I'm getting. I'm literally just getting bit up by these ants all over the place. It's very annoying. But now this WD-40 should have soaked enough. We'll try and do these struts. And I'm gonna call it a day. I need to find a new panel for that that door though. It's gonna bug me. Uh, we got the jack stands in. All right, we got some some beer 
and uh, <laughs> we got a broken axle to help us with the clearance. <laughs> this is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Definitely terrible. Idea. Hey, should, you never should. thought you would need this broken axle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at stupid. All right. Well, if we die today, uh, you guys won't see this video. <laughs> Stretch came out with ease. Uh, look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they definitely need it swapped out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's bad. Wow. Good old blue. <laughs> New strut is in. This one's easy. I'm like getting pretty much sit up straight under this thing. It's pretty neat. This one's a little more complicated. Got the exhaust right by it, but uh, should come right off. All right, struts are in. Now maybe the car won't sit all funky. I thought it might add like a lift on the front or the back, but the front definitely sits lower than the back, so maybe it won't now. Or wait, that doesn't make sense to. I don't know. We'll see. Front sits lower than the back, yes. Well, today has been so much more productive than what I thought it would be. Filter done, those are done. Now here, the skid plate thing wasn't on. I'll just toss this bad boy. I don't know if it's really gonna do anything. The oil pan sits pretty freaking like I, I would destroy like the diff before destroying the oil pan on anything. It's not like this thing is gonna really hit anything anyway, but uh yeah. Toss this bad boy on. I need to get new stuff for the driver door. I'll be pretty set. I'm excited to go for a ride and feel how the difference is in the back now that it has decent struts on it. So, it'll be interesting. Oh, skid plates on. That works. It's crazy how long this freaking truck is. I mean, I'm so used. I mean, this makes my golf look like a freaking Honda Brat. <laughs> like, Jesus. Well, at least I got a bunch of shit done. I'll wash up here and we'll go for a little ride before the sun goes down. Well, didn't go out uh, with the camera last night. Had a couple too many beers, but the truck rides so, so, so much better with those new struts. I just went to the junkyard. I just got off work. I went to the junkyard, got a new uh, window door panel thing for my side so I could actually hit the unlock button. So now all the windows switches work on their own side. Dope. I found a set of wheels there I kind of like. There's just some like black steely looking wheels. They look a lot better than these. He said 250 for the set with tires on them that are decent. So I don't know. I might grab those. But um, I'm going to unbox my uh, motor mounts came in from BFI. So this clip might be a little weird because it's going to be the, I'm going to use the same clip for the start of the next video. But uh, I might as well unbox it real quick. And then later once it cools off we'll go for a ride in the truck and I'll end the video there. Alright guys. You can uh, read the box, clearly. We got some Black Forest Industries bits. Now, I've been talking about it for a couple weeks, so you guys probably already know that this is, isn't really cool well, yeah. Thanks guys, much appreciated. And uh, isn't, oh, they got new stickers. That is, that's different, way different. I'm used to the tree. What is this supposed to? It's like a fire breathing fox. I dig it. Nice. Anyway, there's another sticker. Hell yeah. All right. Now I'm really excited to see. If one of these is an upgrade. I mean, technically they are both. This is the one that isn't that much of an upgrade. But so, ooh, nice. Stage two engine mount. You see, you got the green inserts instead of the black. Oh yeah, the durometer on this is going to be uh, pretty stinking high. So you got that, and it should just be new bolts, new hardware. Oh, forgot about this. Um, I got the whole kit because I said why not. So if anybody wants this stage two insert for I think version one, I don't know, whatever this one is, it looks like that. I don't need this, so that can be. Given away or whatever. See, new bolts for that. Boom. And this one right here will be the biggest upgrade. Because originally when they did trans mounts, they just like took apart the OEM one and then put their own um, stuff in them. Like their own, whatchamacallit, what can I think of the word? Their own rubber. They replaced the OEM rubber with their own rubber and kept 
the OEM design. Well, now they have this nice billet design that should be a lot more sturdy for the trans. And having a manual trans, um, you definitely want that bitch to be sturdy. So this would be nice. This would be very, very pretty. I'm excited. So I'm gonna put these in tomorrow, and then we have autocross Sunday. The car is probably, it's gonna take a couple hundred miles for you to break in. So that's like a 250 mile road trip on itself, plus racing, so should be pretty dope. Very excited. So stay tuned for this video coming out next week. You guys can get one last little look at the truck here for the time being. Hopefully I'll get some black wheels soon. I kind of want to get some new lenses here. The top lenses are super fogged. The, night, the bottom ones are decent though. I'm gonna look out. I'm not trying to pay full price for nothing, but it's got this big old brush guard on it too. This thing is huge. And we got Eric's 800 something horsepower. Pro charged. You just put uh, some Texas speed headers on the other day. Well, yesterday. Big old bull. in the truck with the AC blasting it's damn near 105 degrees out today it is ridiculous now it doesn't really get humid here because we live in the desert but this heat is crazy if you ever been to Phoenix in the summer you know what I'm talking about they, they get about about 10 more degrees hotter than this and I, I can't even imagine working on the flight line in Arizona in the middle of the summer that just sounds terrible anyway so my old supervisor is real big in the trucks I think I talked about it yesterday but uh He's got some like, like PVC type stuff that we're gonna cut up and put on these, like the door hook things. Cause the doors are like, the door pins are all messed up. So the doors kind of shake if you don't slam the door real hard. So he has a partial fix for it. I still need to get new bushings for the pins, but like where the door latches onto, you can like put this PVC stuff on that allegedly helps it align itself whenever you close the door, so. But man, this thing drives so smooth. I mean, it's hella slow, especially for having a 7.4 liter motor in it, but and we'll get the beans real quick. I mean, the AC's on, ready? 20 roll. Woo! That probably cost me so much gas right there. <laughs> well, this thing's fun, sitting up this high. I ain't gotta worry about slowing down for bumps or nothing. Just chilling with the AC blasting. I dig it. I dig it a lot. No way I don't have that car out in the sun and that leather's so hot. And here I sound like I'm making excuses not to drive the car. Trust me. I, I'm, I'm driving the car a bunch still. But today's, yeah, I saw today's high and I was like, no, there's no way I'm not driving the AC or get in the hot ass car after sitting out all in the sun all day baking. So here we go. All right, let's go fix these doors up. What's it made out of? What'd you say? It's, it's like PV. Pex. Pex? Yeah. Okay. P -E -X. So you just cut some up, cut a slit in it. Yeah. Slide them all on. See how this one will do. The other side is the worst, so. Nice. Hell yeah. Your hinge pin. Well, we cleaned this out real good. There's a ton of freaking dirt and grime in there. Cleaned out with some brake cleaner, put some silicone in there, and now it moves real nice. And then he uh, moved the pin out more towards the outside of the car. It seems to latch really well now. Now we're going to try another piece of this, see how it helps. Pretty neat, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Learning things. God damn it. I know. Oops. Well, my doors decide after we try to, you know, open and shutting the door a bunch of times and adjusting that pin that we we're putting the blue stuff on, and I kept eating the blue stuff up. But after just adjusting the pins more towards the outside of the car and down a little bit, I think for one, and then the driver's side had to go up a little bit. It helped align the door for when you close it because I don't even know how to really understand it, uh, explain, but uh. It's it's pretty much fixed now. Like we lubed it, we cleaned out both sides, lubed them up real good, and uh, realigned those those things. And now you 
don't have to like, because the, the passenger door, you seriously had to like slam, slam. Like last night, I got home, I, called, I five times. It took me five times to get that door completely shut. And I was like giving it the beans, like, wah! And I was like, I'm gonna break this damn window. I, I gotta be careful, but now all the windows work and the doors aren't dumb and the struts are fixed. Probably give her an old chain, spark plug wires here in the next couple weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I got this daily. Just shout out to Bonds, help me out today. Shout out to Scott for hooking me up with this truck. And uh, super happy, just, uh, yeah. So I'm looking out, uh, Monday's video will be autocross. If I win this weekend's event, it will be my first time getting three first places in a row. I've had two first places back to back multiple times and then I always screw myself and knock on wood here. Um, we're gonna give her hell this weekend and uh, we'll see how these new motor mounts feel. Like I said, I had stage two on my Jetta and stage two on my R32, both Mark IVs before and the, the NVH noise vibration harshness, harshness does not bother me at all so I expect them to be just like it was before maybe a little bit stiffer and that's fine by me um, still no tracking on the tubular rear end or the carbon hatch yet and I still don't have a lead on uh, Lexan glass for the hatch either so I still need to order a couple things um, like the boots in the hatch if you open up your hatch look in there you got like those plastic boots apparently those tabs break real bad and that would allow um you know rainwater to get in and stuff so i should order extra ones of those actually there's a buddy of mine on instagram he said he might have some spares i gotta find that message and message him back but anyway hope you guys like the video rambling on here as always um this truck's dope super happy with it look out for the video on monday wish me luck on sunday Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.